So for today, we're going to be looking at 801, Banshee, Xur, and Eververse, all in that order. This is your last call. If you guys don't know, we look at all of those vendors that I just spoke about, and we look at what they're selling. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. These videos usually go a little bit longer just because at the end of the video, I like to talk about what's up for the week for the channel. So yeah, if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, I really do appreciate it because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you do me a favor, like, comment, sub, hit the bell notification because I do think my content is worth it. Other than that, let's get into it so before we look at 801 let's actually look at the fit for the video because i am tired of people asking me like what the fit is or what this helmet is or what that is so this is it a uh, wildwood helm dark age gauntlets braid tech snow boots and then tech into regalia mark with the arctic dreamscape shader on this is like one of my favorite looks that being said i've also switched out the helmet for the uh the dark age one just because i think it looks a little bit more snowy so i'm just gonna keep it like that so that is the fit. Let me know what you guys think. Other than that, let's look at the shaders. So for the first one, it's going to be Rasmussen Clan. So this is a good example of how you can use Rasmussen correctly, because I do think there's a, a wrong way and a, cor and a correct way to use this. For Titans, it's going to be the easiest because you can do a whole plate look. And this personally looks amazing. I think this is how you should use Rasmussen, because if you use cloth, and a specific cloth, you'll get this yellow here. And I that's why I'm not a big fan of Rasmussen or the other one, the red one, which is why I think Sato Tribe is the best one. And no, I'm not gonna apologize because uh, why would I apologize? I'm correct, like I'm, I am correct. So the next one is gonna be New Pacific Rush. I, I don't i don't mind this shader like i think it's i think what it is like i think from the waist up it looks cool and then from the waist down i'm like mm, i would switch the boots probably that would be it uh we have dead orbits fate which this looks pretty cool black and white i know some people are gonna be like oh edge Lord, but it looks pretty cool um if you really wanted to call me an edge lord i would put all black on this but this looks pretty cool and both of these are from Vanilla Destiny 2, so I would suggest to pick the, pick these up. And Rasmussen, I would still pick up even though it takes shaders pretty terribly for cloth. For the armor sets, they're all going to be right here. For the hunters, I think the helmet is really cool. I think the chest piece is really cool. I think the boots, unfortunately, would be cool if the like bandages on the ankle changed color. I think the arms, I'm not the biggest fan of it, even though I've made sets with it. And the cloak is kind of boring. Titans. I think everything but the mark is really good uh, specifically the helmet i always i always uh, mention this but the helmet is really good because the other are uh, world drop armor or the world drop helmet for that is it world drop actually hold on let me let me go check real quick before i start saying shit that's not true um yeah it's so it is uh it's this one right here though shelter in place this is from vanguard year one so that helmet is a reskin of the, or yeah, it's the reskin of the world drop. And unfortunately shelter in place, the visor doesn't change color. So this is the helmet you're going to actually want to get. If you want to change the color of that visor, um, boots are really cool. Arms are really cool. And the chest piece and the mark are like the only pieces where, I'm, well, the mark is definitely not my favorite, but the chest piece is like, it's hit or miss sometimes for me. And then Warlocks, I think the helmet is cool. I think the chest piece is cool. I think the arms and boots are very boring, but you can definitely use it for like a tactical set. And then the bond is really boring. So let me know what you guys think about 801 and what you guys are going to be picking up as well. As for Banshee, we're going to be looking at Lunalata 4B, Ensemble Wellspring, Timelines Vertex with Firmly, firmly Planted and Demo, Tree Prophecy with Grave Robber and Demo. Uh, peace of mind with perpetual motion and adrenaline junkie and then code Dulo with impulse amplifier and lasting impression so this is actually the code Dulo that i have personally if i remember correctly um crease maybe actually uh i would recommend this one i'm gonna pick it up myself um just because when it comes with lat when it comes to lasting impression it's like one of my favorite rocket launcher perks just because i treat it almost like anarchy um the actual exotic so that's why i love rockets to have it because if i'm doing like a really close build like specifically like maybe a one-two punch with a liar's handshake if i'm doing if i'm trying to go for as much damage as i can i will go with code dulo um like let's say i don't know if i have an example i don't think i have an example of it but i would do like a bunch of uh 
melee hits and whatnot and then throw a grenade or a rocket launcher and then still do it and then run out it's not it's probably not the best for that but it's also one of those things where it's so versatile that i could use it pretty much on almost any build especially if rocket launchers are meta um this is a red border weapon as well so make sure you pick that up if you don't have it and then uh true prophecy unfortunately not the best rolls you definitely want some one of the explosive perks and i like it when it comes with overflow just because uh overflow is it or is it called overflow i don't remember it it's overflow hold on hold on i have one in the vault hold on let's go see after this we'll go uh to to Zer because uh no no other weapon really interests me so i think i i think i still have that weapon maybe it's right here uh range finder explosive payload that's the one i have on it but i used to have one that had overflow on it which i'm pretty sure i'm not fucking going insane but okay whatever so yeah i'm thinking overflow the one where you, when you pick up a uh, special you get a like double your mag that's what i'm thinking about which is also crazy because now with the new pvp uh changes <sighs> overflow not might not even proc in in, a, in crucible anymore which is gonna be such a bummer um i don't know I still have to make a video on PvP because honestly, I don't know if I'm feeling the vibe of it. Like, <sighs> fuck is the point of playing Destiny 2 if you're not going to use abilities, bro? But I know I'm in the minority on that one. As for the armor, you guys literally saw me <laughs> go to the tower, so I'm not going to go to the map. But yeah, I'm pretty much happy that they're giving us the, well, it's the Midnight Exigent. I think it's the Midnight Exigent for everyone, but... It's the um, Escalation Protocol Armor from Warmind, which is Season 3. Definitely pick this armor up. It is very, very rare. And if you want to go for a Seraph look or more of a, a Warmind-inspired look, this is going to be the sets that you're going to want to get. I definitely think they're really, really cool. Let me go to Collections real quick so I can check out everyone's armor and then we can really get started on it because, again... I think it's really cool <clears throat> so hunters unfortunately i don't like a lot of it um i think the arms are cool even though they're asymmetrical as fuck the boots same thing chest piece i think is the coolest piece the helmet and the cloak have to go together because the helmet is unfortunately like really low and the cloak also is really high so it's one of those annoying things that i like some of these pieces but unfortunately that helmet is pretty trash although it's cool you guys will notice it when you guys put it on the helmet without a cloak it goes down real hard it's really weird titans i think you guys have the best sets uh, or this best set from this whole thing i think the arms are really cool i think the chest piece is really cool i think the helmet is fucking amazing i think the boots are decent and i think the mark is like serviceable warlocks i think you guys have the worst one um i'm not a fan of a lot of it honestly i'm not even going to tell you which one i like because i honestly don't really like a lot of it if any um, I think the boots maybe, maybe the boots are really cool. I think the chest piece has potential. It's just such a boring look to it. Like it's, I don't know. It's so weird. Cause like, I think this, I think this set would have been really good if it had sh like shoulder pauldrons. I think that would have been good. Cause it just looks kind of naked. If I'm being quite honest, I think the bond's kind of boring as well. I think the helmet's terrible. I think the arms are terrible overall i'm just not the biggest fan of it let me know what you guys think about the armors in the comment below as for the armor rolls i'll have them up right now usually man i really hate that i do these because sometimes uh like gg does not have all of the armor rolls in there and i have to go in and actually sh like put the rolls in there which takes time but i know a lot of people like to see the rolls so that's why i do it for you guys that is pretty much it as for the weapons we have wolf tone draw which is impulse amplifier and cornered we have thoughtless with rapid fire a rapid hit and focus fury that's actually pretty decent uh callus mini tool one of the best smgs in the game with moving target and tap the trigger we have sojourner's tail with quick draw adrenaline junkie uh platus corrector fourth times charm wellspring tarantula with field prep and kill clip and then crown splitter with relentless strikes and vorpal weapon really um Oh, is that jagged? It does have jagged edge. Oh shit! Oh no, because Vorpal only ha gives you like what five or ten percent on heavies now, so that's not good. Never mind. Um, 
so the weapons i would really really advertise or at least uh, recommend would be wolf tone draw thoughtless callus mini tool and that's it because these three are all red border weapons if i remember correct is this a red border weapon my my line right now when did this come out um if this is a red you know what let me just tell you right now instead of fucking guessing so wolf wolf draw Let's draw something. Let's see what is it? Bo bo bo. Let's draw. Let's draw. It is not okay. So let me sh let me shut up my line ass. It is not a red border. Um, I also wouldn't recommend that role personally. What was it again? Impulse amplifier. Nah, no. You're you're never gonna be cornered with a bow. And if you are, that's weird. Um, Thoughtless is definitely a red border weapon because it came out. Um, I think this was the season season of the chosen. Was season the chosen the last season where it was like, oh yeah, th this season you can, you can keep you or again, let's just go double check because I actually don't even remember off the top of my head. Um, just to show you guys how long it's been since I've really fucking played Destiny. Yeah, it's right there. Okay, so I'm, I am correct on that one, and I know for a fact this weapon's a red board. I would probably say get get the Callus Me tool before you get the Thoughtless, just because Callus is that fucking good like i said in one of my previous videos that it's one of the best solar web or solar smgs in the game someone commented that it's not uh i still say it is because uh every other solar weapon that i posted on that comment it's like not good uh, some of them are good but i personally don't really like aggressive frame um smgs personally i feel like you just reload more than you're actually shooting but for exotics, we're looking at Hawk Moon with surplus. Oops, I did not mean to do that. I just saw the surplus and I was like, that's it, I'm getting out. And then Darcy, which, hooray. I mean, if you don't have Darcy, pick it up, but you're not gonna be using it. Uh, Frosty with 20, so 20 and 10, six. Eh, eh, I don't know, natural. I say natural with quotation marks, but I say natural 20 because once you master work this, it'll go to a 20 for mobility is pretty nice, I guess, but meh. Uh, Paragon Greaves with way too high mobility and then Luna Faction Boots with, ooh, these are pretty dope, actually. Fuck. 20, 20, 23 on things that I actually give a shit about. Um, I'm on a Titan too. Hold on. Wait a minute, wait. Okay, well, I'll get it later. But yeah, Warlocks definitely get the Luna Faction Boots. They're still really useful. Let's see what I get for my Titan, because I never get stuff for my Titan. Ooh, that's why I don't. I don't. I'll probably never use that, but thanks, I guess. So let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from Zer. If you pick up anything, at least pick up the armor, because, again, this armor is really, really rare. Like, like really rare. And I made a really cool set with uh some of those pieces specifically the arms so definitely pick them up <laughs> oh for titans that's what i made it for as for eververse we have princely presence i don't i don't mind this looks pretty cool we have a spark of joy this doesn't like this is pretty cool too we have vex incursion entrance And then we have Matter Scourge for Outbreak Perfected, which I'm going to be honest, not the biggest fan of this ornament. I mean, if you like it, do you? But yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of it. This is very much more centered across the fact that it was a skin that went really well with some of the skins that we got from Season of Arrivals, which you don't even get weapon skins in Season Passes anymore. So that's, I don't know, this is just more of a reminder of, oh yeah, we used to we used to get really cool skins in the season pass for weapons, and now we don't. Uh, disc Jockey. It actually does have music in the background. And then for the stuff at the bottom, we have What If for, what gun, what's, what's this gun called? Monte Carlo? Yeah. I, I like this skin. It looks pretty cool. It's just that the skin that i already have on it the deep stone crypt one is just so much better that i will never like switch it out it's just that cool maybe i'll get it for the what if <laughs> but i don't know 
afterglow which let me see if it changes color it does change color that's pretty cool actually let me see does it tur turn it into a solid or does it like completely go away that doesn't that turn that's still a solid what about this one this one i've never seen that glow color on that shader that is really weird uh, let me see this one okay so it just it's a glow for ev oh where was it oh shit this turns it off that's pretty hilarious so it's a uh, mad monk which is really funny i would not have expected mad monk to turn it off from all the shaders that i would be trying but that's really funny will i will i get it probably not but it's cool that you could turn the glow off uh, we have nemean galley i don't really care about this let me be honest with y'all look that's cool as fuck though um junkyard shell which again i don't really care about curtsy pick a card and then for the transmats it's gonna be sh dreaming shimmer which i think looks really cool uh signal processed Dominus Gall effects. And then Empirical Imperative, which again, I will always tell people to pick up Empirical Imperative because again, look at this. How, look how cool this looks. There is no none of that yellow that you see here on all of it uh, aside from the of the mark because the mark has some, some of the yellow bits, but I'm talking specifically like there's some marks that will take all of the yellow on all of the mark, which is terrible, or some of the under armor as well. So I definitely would recommend guys or people to pick up the shader because it's super cool and people pretty much sleep on a lot of shaders, which I should make a video on. But yeah, definitely pick this one up. Uh, Raven Silk, I love this shader. Also, this is a shader from an old season, so you definitely should pick the shader up, even though it might not look cool. You might never know. You might just be running like going through shaders and one day like this one is just like yo this one kind of looks really good with this set so that's why i always recommend just pick up the shader you might never know when it's cool heat shielded this one looks really cool as well and this one is from if i remember correctly this one is from one of the packages that has a weapon skin and a shader so definitely pick it up for that and then opposite apposimatism which this actually looks pretty cool. I would switch out the helmet for like something that takes an all black and then that would actually be pretty cool. So let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. Like I said, uh, this is the end of the video. So if you guys want, you guys can leave. Uh, let me know what you guys thought. I appreciate it. Let's talk about a few things. So I have taken a few days off this week just to play some other games just because I don't, I don't even know why I'm saying that, but it's more specifically taking a break from not just destiny but from the channel i didn't post twice this week which is a little weird considering i've been posting like one day a week minimum one video for the past like two three months or something at least it feels that long and now i have a week where i don't post two things specifically because like i said i just wanted to take a break from the grind which really helped played a lot of satisfactory which is one of my uh games that i play when i want to just kind of relax because that's funny, com like considering it's like you have to make a factory, and for some people, I guess it's a little stressful. But for me, it's very like, like calming because I like organizing stuff. So for me, it was just kind of like <sighs> nice. I'll have some footage, I guess, it for you guys. But it's just one of those games where I play and I just kind of turn up my brain off because again, I'm just gonna make a cool factory. And right now, I'm currently like almost at the not end game because I'm still kind of far away from that. But I'm at the point where. I, I'm trying to make the the fac the faculty the facility like look nice, which is why I'm like rearranging a lot of stuff, and yeah, it's a lot of fun. But when it comes to fashion, I did say last week that we're gonna make a Hell Divers video, which I've already done it. I'm currently editing it. I just need to actually finish it, which most likely it'll it'll either, it'll either come out tomorrow or monday because i also have tier list videos that i'm also finishing up right now i've already done the dungeon one which i just need to make a thumbnail and it's done because it's already uploaded and yeah i still have content don't worry it's not like oh i didn't have content therefore i didn't like post videos it's more of a like i just really didn't want to edit videos this week and i just wanted to like really just relax which is why 
I a lot of the content that I did make this week was super, super simple, but I'm going to get back to it probably tomorrow. Today is going to be my last day and then tomorrow I'm going to start getting on the grind because I do have like a four day weekend until I have to go to work again. And I will be making a lot of content. I'm going to be making one uh, a response video to Grenader Jake's video because I agree and disagree with a few things he said. And yeah, I want to talk about like why I think like what I think about the video, but nothing too crazy. Honestly, it's just going to be like my thoughts about it, which also aligns with some of the video ideas that I had. But speaking of video ideas, I have a lot of video ideas as well. We're going to be going through. So Hell Divers is the first uh, game we're going to be going through. And then after that, we'll probably go into uh, some of the stuff that I have on my Steam list. And then oh, I didn't even mention next week is going to be the um, Guardian games. Which from there we're gonna go do armor video reviews, the three class specific videos that we usually do, and then I'll probably do a review of the new like bike, not bike, but like the new skateboard thing that they get they're giving out. <laughs> and then uh, I always say I want to do weapon reviews, and I never do them. I want to say I'm, I'm gonna do them this time. Probably not, considering the weapon that they're giving out is a shitty grenade launcher. But we'll see. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all. Be safe. I will see you guys later.